Hey, thanks for joining. It's Jordan and I am here to show you how to do a vertical social media walkthrough video. So these are fantastic add-ons that you can do at any property you go to. So how I started these out is I was just looking for more content to create for my personal uh, real estate photography business, uh, social media. So I was like, oh, we'll just do these little walkthroughs because I saw them all over social media and I really wanted to start doing something like that. So I started doing it just to post on my own social media and then client, you know, my clients would see that and be like, oh, I want one of those for my business. So then I added on as an actual service and it's been great. I do them at almost every single property that I do. I charge $159 for these walkthroughs, but I'm going to show you how to film them and then I'm going to show you how to edit them as well. So look forward to both of that. So this might be a slightly longer video. The the actual service capture, like doing the video part, isn't going to take that long. The editing portion doesn't really take that long either, but it does take a little bit of time. So I'm going to be doing that in Final Cut Pro just because that makes it the absolute easiest. But I'm going to get started. I'm in this property doing photos and stuff, so I'm, I'm filming stuff for uh, my one hour free training. So I'm going to do that first, but I'll skip all that for you. So we'll just jump right into the uh, vertical walkthrough. Okay, so I have to be quick with this vertical walkthrough because my camera's about to die. So all you need to do with this is head into your native camera app on your iPhone, go to the wide angle, right? And then you, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You could stand by the front door and you could hold up the phone and be like, hey, it's Jordan, let's take a tour. And then you flip the camera around and you keep going. But in this case, we're gonna start out here. We're in 4K 60 frames per second and we're just gonna walk. It's gonna be hard to kind of showcase what I'm doing, but you hit record and then you just keep it as steady as possible. Walk through, close the door, and then like that. And then quickly turn around and walk this way as steady as you can. Showing the kitchen like that. And then showing that dining room going back this way and showing that you can turn the camera this way showcase this little bathroom showcase the laundry room spin around come back this way and then you can even show this up here and then go up the stairs And then we're gonna turn left. Show this room right here and spin around. Spin around that way. Go into the primary. And it's fine if this sees you in the mirror because it's just a vertical walkthrough. They know that it's being shown like that. And you come back out and turn. Okay, so my point of view camera died, but I'll keep talking with this video. So you're just kind of showing the property, and then that's the end of that. And we can kind of come down right here. You'll have to excuse me. My point of view battery died when I was completing the, the, the vertical social media walkthrough video. But they're fantastic little add-ons that you can do to any single property. So like I said, I started doing them just for my own content because I needed to be making more content. I was like, what the hell can I do? I was like, oh, I could do like vert little vertical highlight uh, or not vertical highlight, vertical walkthroughs because I saw those on social media all the time. And I was like, killer, I could do that. So I started doing it and my clients saw it and they're like, oh, I, I, you know, I really want to, to see something like this for my listing. Because I was doing them at every single property anyways, I could just upsell it to a realtor later. And I don't necessarily recommend that. Uh, it's a good idea if you're like just beginning to like, you know, if you have the time, sure, if they just hired you to do photography, do a video as well and send it to them. Be like, hey, if you want to use this, you know, I, I made it for my portfolio or whatever, like happy to give it to you for free or whatever. But then the add-ons uh, or like upselling after the fact that you already did it. Um, the vertical social media walkthrough videos are, are pretty cool too. So they're a fantastic little thing, but we're going to go through and edit it in Final Cut Pro 
right now to get the finished product. And that's gonna take just a little bit of time, but it's not gonna be too complex. Uh, really, it's just scrubbing through and speeding up portions that you need sped up to get to the next highlight point that you wanna showcase at the property. Not too hard, it's just gonna be using the range tool for Final Cut Pro to automatically do the speed ramps and then um, maybe add some motion blur as well to make it a little bit nicer. But that's really it, so let's kick off that real quick. So to get started editing this social media vertical walkthrough video, we're first gonna go up to File, New, New Project, and then this can all just be whatever. And then I'm gonna click and drag my clip just right here. This is where we get into the actual editing portion. So I have a couple of shortcuts set up, but I'm not gonna use those shortcuts for the purpose of this video. My one key automatically slows it down to 50%, two goes to 400%, three goes to 800%. We do want it to be on 50%, but how you do that without the presets, or the shortcuts rather, is you'll go into retime, First, I'm just gonna reset the speed. So this is what it's gonna look like as soon as you jump in. We're gonna hit modify, retime, slow, 50%. And then this is the base that we're gonna work off of. So there's really one main tool that we're going to be using throughout this entire thing, which is called the range tool. And you can just press R to get there faster. It'll look like this. Uh, or you can just go in here. So if we're in uh, select, which can be a shortcut of A, so I frequently go back to it's either uh, B to cut, R for range, A to select. So I'll go in here and just select range. And then we're just going to play it through, decide what we want to select our start point as. So I think right here is where I'm going to get the range to go about right here. And then I would normally just hit two to increase it to 400% speed. But for the purpose of this video, just every time I'm gonna to go to retime, fast, 4X. And then we're just gonna play that through and see what it looks like. And I think that's too slow, so I'm gonna hit Control Z and I'm also going to move this over just a tad. But I'm gonna zoom in by pressing Z and then zooming in a little bit and then going back by pressing R and then just dragging it over a little bit to right here. And then I'm gonna hit three which is gonna put it at 800%, or we go to modify, retime, fast, 8x. And we'll see what this looks like. It might take a little bit to load, that's okay. We got the basis of it. It'll be a lot smoother once it's given time to process. But so that's our beginning clip where it just kind of goes right in and then starts right there. And then I'm gonna do the range select tool again till about right there at 400%. Nice. And then from right here, I'm going to move to here and then probably till right here. And then we're going to see what 400% looks like. So I'm going to press two to hit 400%. Or again, we just hit modify, retime, fast, 4x. Let's see how this looks. Nice. And then right here. So you see how uh, I'm going left and then now I'm going right. So right before, so about right here is when we're gonna start the range. And then right here, and I'm gonna change this to 800%. So modify, retime, fast, 8x, nice. And then range it from there, about right there at 400% speed. And then from there, and then start there. So it's really just, you know, you gotta film it in a way that makes sense to where you know when your slow and fast speeds are gonna hit and where like where you want to highlight a specific thing. So when I enter into this room, it goes slow because I wanna show the room. And then once we're about right there, then I'm gonna speed it up and then slow it down, probably about right there and see what that looks like at 400% speed. Nice. And then you see how I filmed it and I started turning Right when we start turning right there, we're gonna create the range tool all the way in here. And then there. Then from here all the way to about there. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Then speed it up again to about right there. Showing those nice high ceilings. 
I figure from about here to here. 400% for now. You know, let's change it to 800%. So I'm just toggling between, I have it set to my number two, changes it to 400% and number three to 800%. Or you can again, go to modify three time fast 8X. It does the same thing. And in here, and then we'll start the range right there, end it right there when we're about to turn that other way. Again, I'm gonna put at 800% speed, see what it looks like. Nice range into here slow it down right as we hit that speed it up to just like that go in the bathroom real quick speed it up till we hit the shower speed it up till we hit the closet and speed it up till we turn around that looks like and then we're going back out and maybe we'll slow it down right there briefly to show the room it was a little sloppy but that's all right and then I'm going to speed that up to show the staircase right here. And then we'll let it keep going. I think I'll speed it up round about here. Slow it down right there and see what that looks like. Nice. Oh, you know what? So we want the range to go a little bit more to there. So that, uh, so you see here how when it ends, if I end it right here, it kind of has this awkward thing where it continues going left. We don't like that. So let's just extend the range a little bit to where it's right here and then it turns right. Speed it up to show the closet real quick. Speed it up to show the other room. Let's see what it does. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it right there and maybe I'll speed it up a little bit like that just to quicken the pace, pace into the bathroom. These things are super easy to edit. And that's good for that. And then as soon as I start turning around, come back to here, speed this up. And it's done. So the thing ended up at one minute and seven seconds. So if that happens, because typically I try to make these under a minute. So that's already 800%. So I think I'm going to add another range right there and just put it on 800%. So you can also select the, the range area by just selecting this little blue if you want to change the speed of it. So this one is 400%. I'm going to change it to 800%. I'm just going to change all of them really to 800% uh, and see what that looks like. Maybe add another range right there at 400% just to speed it up a tad. If you want to zoom out, um, you'll hit this little button right here and then drag this slider and then it'll zoom out. Or for quick zooming in, you can just hit Z. 58 seconds, perfect. And you could go in and add motion blur, but kind of a waste of time to be completely honest. These things are meant to be just really quick and dirty, a nice little addition to um, be something that your clients can put on their social medias, you can put on your social medias. Like I said, I would usually do like, I'd film myself at the front door and be like, hey, it's Jordan, let's take a tour and then go from there, but not the biggest deal. And it won't be all choppy like that in the final render. This is just because it's having to do it all in real time. It gets the job done and that's really all that matters. It showcases the layout of the property and it's very smooth. And again, I'm not even using a gimbal for this. I'm just holding my phone. So yeah, sure, you can see some footsteps, but it's not the craziest deal. It really isn't. And it's fine to see my reflection. These specific social media walkthrough videos are really easy to do and you know it doesn't have to be this i mean it's not listing level quality where you have to worry about like oh seeing yourself in reflections it's quick and dirty that's the whole point of it so let's add some music to it real quick and then usually with audio i'm going to drop it down to about negative seven or so let's make sure that it ends when we want it to end and then if you wanted to you could also uh, zoom in and if you see this little uh, circle right here I'll zoom in on it so you can see right there if you grab this and the icon turns into two right arrows you can just click and drag this left and it auto fades out and then if you want we can do the same thing with the video so it just fades out at the end of it and here's how I personally do it so we'll watch this and I'll start the fade out at about right here I'm going to go up and hit a keyframe right next to opacity. It's at 100%. And then we're going to let it play to where it hits the end. And then we'll drop it all the way down to zero opacity. 
and it does a nice little fade out. And to export this video, we're going to hit the little export button up here. And I usually just do Apple devices 4K. And then this is gonna bring this up and we're just gonna name it vertical social media walkthrough video. And then settings, if you want it to be the highest quality, we'll change it to 2160 by 3840 because it's a vertical uh, resolution instead of if it was a uh, horizontal, it'd be 3840 by 2160. So this is the same thing as nine by 16 or, or whatever. If you want to change it to, it, I think it'll default at single pass, which is faster, but multi-pass just does, you know, a couple more passes on the final result and gets rid of any potential artifacting. So we're just going to leave it on that and it tells you the total file size and we'll just hit next and then select where we want it to be and I'm going to hit save. And then if you want to look at what it's doing under here, it's just going to take a little bit of time to finish. Not too long though. And then we'll watch the final product. so that's really all these vertical social media videos take to get them done from start to finish i hope you enjoyed and as always you can find a link to my book in the description below and if you're interested in coaching you can click the link below to answer just a few quick questions and then you and i will hop on a call to see you know if the program of what i have is something that you'd be interested in. It's a very non-pressure, low-pressure sales call. So hop on that with me. You and I will chat, and then we'll go from there. But that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.